Melbourne, Australia's second biggest city and the venue for the 1974 World Lacrosse Championship. Teams from Canada, the United States and England competed. One of the most thrilling games was Canada versus Australia. Australia's Ron Toomey in yellow won possession at the hit-off after a hard tussle. This World Championship coincided with the 100th anniversary of lacrosse in Australia. The only other World Championship series, in 1967, celebrated the game's centenary in Canada. The first goal came from Canada's Ivan Thompson, who slammed the ball in after a pass from attacker Paul Parnell. Mike Raggett was the first to score for Australia. He got possession after a scramble in front of the goal. Raggett scored four goals during the match. Another Australian goal came from a long throw by Andy Salmon. The Canadians surprised many by their mastery of field lacrosse. Most of the team had not played the outdoor game before the World Championship side was organised. Doug Hayes lost his balance after scoring for Canada. Time and again, the Canadians outmaneuvered the Australian team. Carmen Collins dodged and weaved his way through the Australian defenders. Lethwaite caught the ball, lost it, retrieved it, batted his way through and scored. Sports writers describe the game as fast and hard fought, and it's easy to see why. Canadian Steve Deesom, number five, scooped up the ball after an unsuccessful scoring throw by Australian Rod Scott. Deesom showed fancy footwork as he weaved his way through the defenders and passed to Ivan Thompson, number two, who tossed the ball to Ken Henderson, number 18. Canadian attacker Mike French, number 17, brought a touch of nonchalance to the game when, catching a pass from Wayne Goss, he carried his stick aloft and easily dodged and weaved round the Australian defenders to score. Canadian goalie Alan Aston skillfully blocked many Australian attacks. When Andy Salmon slammed a shot in, Aston smashed the ball clear. Canada's Wayne Goss scored the final goal with a long, dodging and weaving run down the field. At the final whistle, it was a great moment for the Canadians, with the score Canada 18, Australia 14.
Australia had been equal favourites with the United States for the title. The United States team went on to win the series when it defeated Australia 2014 in the final match.